How's it going guys? Today we're going to be talking about Origin Access Premiere and potentially EA Access Premiere, which was announced at E3 this year. Basically, it is just an upgraded version of Origin Access where you spend a little bit extra money and you get uh, a little bit more than the original Origin Access. Um, basically, you get 10% discount on... Uh, on DLC purchases, you get games uh, five days earlier than everybody else, and you get a more like wide variety of games for for more money. So, yeah, we're gonna give our opinions on this. Talk about if it's worth the asking price, and if you guys should invest into this Origin Access Premiere. So, Cookie, you can start us off. Uh, what is your opinions on this new service? Well, when I was uh, looking at what people were saying about this and what they thought about the deal and how much it costs, it sounded like a lot of people were pretty negative about it. I think generally just because it's EA and anything EA does looks like a horrendous cash grab, which I totally understand from their past. But I have to say, from what I'm looking at, unless I'm missing something, this seems, sounds like an amazing deal. Um, the only way you wouldn't have any interest in this is if you, is if you just don't enjoy EA games to any extent. But if you play EA games, if you buy even like three or four a year, this is a great deal. And for one, you get the game five days earlier than everybody else, but you get unlimited access to the new game. It's not just uh, up to 10 hours like EA Access and Origin Access before. You get the game completely from start to finish. Um, uh, that's, that's pretty amazing, <laughs> to be honest. I think that's an incredibly good deal. Um, yeah. Because I'm thinking, if it's a hundred dollars a year, and you even buy two full-priced EA games, uh, you've already made your money back. Unless I'm totally missing something um, in what I'm reading from this, that sounds like easily a fantastic deal uh, for anybody who yeah, plays more than a couple EA games. It's launching this summer. Origin Access Premiere will be available for fourteen ninety nine a month or nine ninety nine a year, and the regular version it's just origin access itself is like thirty dollars a year so it's thirty dollars a year or a hundred dollars a year and i'm gonna have to agree i think this is kind of worth it um like i am not defending ea in any shape way shape or form but i mean you can kind of use this if you're smart about it and you cancel whenever before it auto renews you can save so much money and like you can play all their games for a hundred bucks. Like I would normally get Battlefield. I I like Battlefield. I obviously I'm gonna get all the Star Wars games. So let's see, the Star Wars games coming out back. next year. <laughs> that's sixty dollars. Battlefield, that's sixty dollars. Right mm -hmm. there, two games. That's one hundred twenty bucks. Just, you already I just saved, saved money. And then I want to check out Anthem. That's another sixty dollars. And then there's. If, if I want to play any sport games, those are $60 a piece. Yeah, I mean, like... So I can either do that individually, or I can just spend 100 bucks and save all this money, and then they don't get any extra money from me. Yeah, I, I mean, the so only I downside... I don't understand why they're even doing this. I guess is, obviously, if you cancel the membership, you lose the game. So it's not like you're buying the game forever, but I don't see why you'd cancel the membership. I mean, as long as you buy two games a year from EA, which, I mean... Like it or not, EA has a ton of games and a ton of good franchises. So there's a decent chance you're going to buy two EA games a year. I mean, we have a lot of Star Wars fans. You're probably going to buy the new Star Wars game that comes out next year. And if you want to play any EA sports game, Anthem, Battlefield, uh, if you're into The Sims or any of those games and all the DLC that comes with that, you get discounts on now. So, I mean, for me personally, FIFA 19 and Battlefield 5. I'm definitely going to buy this fall, so that's already I've already made my money in a couple months. I I, I don't see how this isn't. Uh, yeah. I think you'd be insane not to get this deal unless I'm totally missing some. But I agree with you. I don't, I don't like see what EA is getting out of it though. <laughs> like what is? If, if they can't own their games, a lot of people just don't care. But yeah. I see it kind of being similar to Netflix. I mean, you don't own any of the Netflix stuff. People sort of yeah get used to it. Um, but I, I think this is a good idea, and they need to like bring it over to, to Xbox with EA Access. Mm -hmm. And I think they would get... Uh, I see them eventually doing that once this 
uh, does really well because then that's a whole other audience. And PlayStation doesn't have EA access because they, they told them no. They didn't mm-hmm. like the idea. But, I mean, Xbox Game Pass is thriving pretty well. A lot of people uh, spend $10 a month for that. And, and if you spend good. $100 a year for this, heck, I could just spend $200. Spend a, like I don't know how much it is a, per year for the Game Pass. I know it's not a, a hundred, but even if it was a hundred, spend a hundred on Game Pass, spend a hundred on uh, EA Access Premier, two hundred bucks, and I get like every single Xbox game and every single EA game. Yeah. For such a reduced price. Yeah, you get Halo. You then cancel any time. All the Star Wars stuff, all the uh, EA Sports. I mean, it's it's a lot to get. I mean, or you could <laughs> buy it per month. Yeah. And, I mean, you could get a game just to test to see whether it's good or not and then cancel the membership at the end of the month, too, if you wanted to do it that way. I mean, I I, I feel like I, the, there's only one way I could see this going bad, really, and that's if EA comes up with something where, I mean, they've already announced the FIFA 19, Anthem, Battlefield 5, and I think Madden 19. They've already announced that all of those games, five days before release, will be available for people with Origin Access Premiere on PC. So they've already announced those four huge EA games will be available at launch. I guess if in the future they suddenly have some games that aren't, but then they would basically be completely lying. So, (laughs) I mean, they would have to flat out lie for this not to be a good deal. Like, I I don't know how they could sneak that around at this point. Plus you get access to the whole vault, which has, like, games over years and years from EA. And also 10% discount on all the stuff that comes with these games, too. Um, that, I think that includes See, if that's you want to buy the you. full game. It's EA we're talking about. Mm-hmm. They're, they're scummy douchebags. It's going to get into the pay-to-win area. If they have anything set up like Battlefront 2, for example, where it was pay-to-win at launch, if all these people get this game a week early... And all DLCs 10% off. Look at those people compared to people that don't have this. They're going to show up a week later. Everyone's going to be high leveled. They're going to have good, better equipment. They're going to, if it's pay to win, then they those people have a discount. So they're going to pay at a cheaper discounted price, get whatever it is to give them the advantage. Then all these new people a week later aren't going to have anything at a non-discounted price and they're they're going to lose cuz mm-hmm. it's going to they're going to get an advantage even if it's not they don't have pay to win mechanics they're still going to get it a week earlier and they're going to have all the better equipment and stuff so it it kind of gets into the pay to win area depending on how you look at it it might not even be so much the pay to win area as much as it will be what you were saying when people will have that like extra five days so they'll have all this stuff unlocked before everybody else does and i think people will desperately want to play these games maybe or to uh buy this more than they would have initially i guess so that's going to be incentive for people to get this and maybe they'll get more people than they would have originally and also i guess ea is betting on getting people who don't normally play their games to play their games because maybe they see this and they're like well I wasn't necessarily going to play Battlefield, but now that I know I can get it for a discount because I'm probably going to buy, I don't know, the EA Sports games or something, they're like, I might as well uh, get Battlefield now, so I might as well pay for this. So maybe that's the way they're thinking? Uh, (laughs) I'm trying to run the numbers in my head. I see microtransactions are going to become probably worse. If everybody's getting discounted prices on the games then they're probably going to give you some sort of juicy DLC or cosmetics Mm -hmm. so that people spend more money to make up the the difference. Well, what's weird is... If you get Battlefield for a lot bigger discounted price, then they're probably going to have loot boxes or something stupid. See, they've gotten away with some scummy things in their other games. Like Sims 4, for instance, has a billion DLCs that cost like 30 bucks each. They've gotten away with that in the Sims world. I find it hard to believe they get away with that in a lot of other worlds. Same with FIFA. They've gotten away with some very major pay-to-win things with that Ultimate Team BS. 
that they didn't get away with in Battlefront. Which is probably one of the reasons EA thought they could get away with this, because no one seems to care in FIFA, and that's the biggest game in the world. So, <laughs> you know, you would think that that wouldn't carry over, but it didn't work with the Star Wars crowd. So, they've gotten away with some scummy stuff. This, you're probably right. They're probably going to try maybe to do similarly to what they did with The Sims 4 and start releasing a crap ton of DLC over years and years and years. Um, and for The Sims 4, it's very mostly insignificant stuff. Um, and if they think they can get away with that in other games, uh, I mean, they're, they're probably going to try that. So you're probably right. That's probably what they're investing in. That's probably what they're going to try and go for and get people to get this... Uh, four is to uh, is to see if people will actually pay that extra money uh, to get this stuff with that 10% discount and that would be very very interesting to see how that turns out from a business standpoint yeah but I mean in my opinion I think it's worth it I think it's worth uh, at least trying it out maybe if you're not totally sure just buy one month $15 you can download like five or six different games just to test it and then if you don't like it don't renew it but if you don't want to give ea a lot of your money just this is the way to do it you can spend a hundred dollars yeah. get all the major games you don't that you want and then don't buy them individually and then you save money they don't make as much money and then if you pay attention to when you signed up you can just cancel your membership or turn off auto renew and you're good to go. In so, a weird way. In my can, opinion, I think it's worth it. In a weird way, you can kind of screw EA over if you were definitely going to buy two of their games anyway, technically giving them less money. So if you just want to screw over EA and you were going to buy two games anyway, I guess this is a way to do that in a weird, strange sort of way. Um, but I got to say, on the surface, it seems like a really good deal. So let us know, guys. Do you think it's a good deal? Do you think this is a... Uh, that this is just not okay and EA is going to use this to scum scum us to death. That doesn't even make sense, but whatever. Let us know in the comments down below what you guys think of this, whether you would buy it or not. Definitely want to get your guys' opinion on this. Smash the like button as always. Subscribe and hit the bell for notifications if you have not done so already. And we will see you in the next upcoming video. Uh,